I'm Nisha Malhotra and uh, I teach at Vancouver School of Economics. I'm an instructor. I teach uh, first year, third year and fourth year students, undergraduates. So now what ends up happening is that you give a lecture, students understood the concept, they did their assignments, now comes the final exam, two months after they've learned this concept. And now they need to go back and review this material. They can't have the same lecture again. They have to open the textbook and they have to read that material. But what if they can have the same instructor give them the same lecture again? I've started using more technology in the classroom as well as out of class, preparing these video tutorials for some of the important concepts in economics and, uh, and at times for the concepts that students find difficult to absorb. The video tutorials were really for a few students that were having difficult time uh, understanding the concept and uh, they would ask me to repeat or they would ask me and they would hang back, hang back after class to uh, really get their concepts right and there were quite a few of them and um, so I just made a few video tutorials for these, for these students and I realized that others were using it as well so then I started making more for the whole class. And not everybody watches them because when I was teaching them in class, some of them got the concept, they didn't need to review this material. So there were a few students who were watching it after class as well, not all of them. But before exams, nearly everyone watches it. And then since we had these tutorials, we could now move on to uh, asking students to watch them at home and then come to class and do these exercises that I, we didn't have time to do before. There's been no, there has been no change in face-to-face -face interaction, so it's the same class time. So if you were coming in three hours a week, you're still coming into class three hours a week. Uh, you had me lecture, and uh, I am still doing that as well. And then a, a few classes, a few lectures have turned into in-class exercises or activities. And this might be 15 minutes, at the beginning of the lecture or 15 minutes at the end of the lecture. And also in the first year, especially the first year students, they are very shy. They don't really want to ask questions. They don't really want to ask you to repeat a concept, right? Some students might, some students don't. And uh, this, what I've found here is that they'll go back and watch the videos and try to understand the concept. And when they come to class, this is an added benefit. They're discussing it with their friends or with their neighbors so they're becoming more comfortable. So now they are able to ask questions in class as well because it's more friendly in atmosphere. There are a few students who come in who haven't uh, used YouTube or have watched uh, videos to learn anything um, and who have more or less restricted themselves to textbooks. And so they have a difficult time and they feel that they lose out because now I'm not reviewing the material in class but they're most welcome to come to office hours during office hours. They don't have to feel that they're losing on anything. It's always very hard. It's easier to learn a concept. It's very hard to look at this concept and say, hey, how do I relate these two? And students somehow fear that at the beginning. Uh, and some love it. Some just thrive on it. Others haven't realized that they'll love it as well. <laughs> and once they do, they'll realize that what they're learning isn't boring. I think they need to have an open mind too learning um, how to apply concepts to the real world.